Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a product empties video, which means I'm going to talk about the products that I completely used off. So the main purpose of this video is to let you guys know if the products actually work or not, or am I going to repurchase them or not. I'm going to give a mini review of each product and let you know how it worked on me. So here are the products that I'm going to talk about today. Um, if you can see, there are not a lot of products in here. Like there are about 10 products or something. So I tried to use less products as possible and yet I managed to finish up some things. So here they are and yeah let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off by talking about my least favorite products and then move on to my favorites. So for the first product I'm going to talk about this compact powder by Lacme. First thing is after applying this compact my skin kind of turns dry and flaky and uneven which is not good. So the second thing is there are not a lot of shades for medium to dusky skin tones in Lacme which I don't like but yet I used it a lot during my college days um, so that's how I managed to complete it. I'd rather buy a setting powder or a translucent powder than this so that's about it. Probably this is the only product that I don't like of all those what I picked up and am I going to repurchase it? No. The second thing that I'm going to talk about is this setting spray. This is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. There are a few things that I like and I don't like about this setting spray. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is um, packaging. Uh, the packaging is so cute and compact, uh, which I like. And the finish after using this setting spray is really good, which is another thing that I like about it. So what I don't like about this product is its spray nozzle. Um, it sprays so unevenly on the skin, which is probably not good at all. Another thing that I don't like about this product is its cap breaks very easily it fell down for once and it completely broke off and it doesn't fit properly anymore and uh, when I put it in my makeup bag or something it just opens up in the bag so it's not that good actually and the thing that I don't like about this setting spray is its smell mm, it smells just so bad and just like chemicals mm, which is not that good I cannot take strong smells at all um, for that matter this is a very bad you know, smelling product so yeah that's about it and that's it about the product and am I going to repurchase it um, definitely no um, I'd rather buy some other you know setting sprays and use it um, I really like this finish but um, but there are a lot of things that I don't like about it so I'm not going to buy it again so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this Karma Ayurveda Lavender Water Mm, it retails for 250 rupees and what I think is it's not worth the price and it's just some water you know mixed with some lavender drops and what it did after using up this product is um, I filled this bottle with water and then added 2 to 3 drops of lavender essential oil in it uh, mixed it and kind of used it for quite some time um, so that's how I used it so am I going to repurchase it? Mm, definitely not because um, it's just lavender infused water and it probably does nothing to your skin. If you guys like lavender smell on your face then you can totally go for it. But I don't think it's worth the price and it probably does nothing to your skin. So I'm not going to repurchase it again. So yeah that's about it. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this Neutrogena Ultra Shade Sunscreen. You should always opt for the sunscreen of 30 and above SPF. So what I like about the sunscreen is it has SPF of 50 and it gives a nice glow when applied to your face it also has a thick consistency which makes the sunscreen last longer when applied so these are what I like about the sunscreen and am I going to repurchase it? Uh, of course yes this is my second tube of sunscreen and it's almost over too so I'm going to repurchase it again so the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer um, this is in the shade Caramel um, so it's almost over so what I like about this concealer is it gives a very natural finish on your skin and, and it's very easily blendable and I really like the tip of the concealer if you can see it, it's like a sponge uh, you can directly apply it on your skin and you can you know rub it with your fingers or apply it with a brush or anything um, it blends very evenly and smoothly so that's what I like about this concealer and am I going to repurchase it? of course yes I'm going to repurchase it again um, I really like this uh, concealer so it's a big yes from me. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this um, Argan Oil by Good Vibes. Um, I think it's pretty cheap. Um, it's for 295 rupees and I think I got it for 50% off. 
um, I think for 150 or 180 rupees, I don't remember exactly, but I happened to use it. Um, it's a really good oil for your face. I really like it so much. So I use it at night before going to sleep and leave it on till morning. So what it does to my skin is it gives a nice glow to my skin and gives a nice texture and made my skin smooth and soft and supple um, by the time I woke up in the morning. So what I really liked about it is it comes with this filler. You can take 2-3 to three drops of the product and put it on your face and massage it with your fingers. And I have to tell you that this oil is not at all sticky and that's what I like the most about it. So it has little gold leaves in this product which I like the most. So yeah, I'm going to repurchase it for sure. Mm, I really like this product. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is my Holy Grail Makeup Remover. Um, it's a Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. So it's very calm on your skin and does the job so so well. It doesn't tingle or burn or does anything to your skin. It's so calm on your skin and removes your stubborn makeup like eye makeup, mascara, everything. It removes everything and that's what I like the most about the product and the best thing about it is it's very cheap so I really love this product I'm currently using second bottle of it and I really love it so am I going to repurchase it definitely yes um, I'm using second one and I'll buy the third one too very soon so it's a big yes from me so the next thing is Himalaya tan removal orange face scrub it's so cheap I think it's for uh, 135 rupees and I really like this product. I don't use a lot of scrubs, but this one, I totally finished it. So it removes all the dirt from your face, makes your skin glow, and also removes blackheads and whiteheads as well. So what I like the most is it doesn't dry up your skin after using this product. And am I going to repurchase it? Um, probably yes, if I happen to see it uh, somewhere, I definitely buy it. So the second last thing that I'm going to talk about is this Fit Me foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 310 Sunbeach. I really love this foundation and I think it's the most affordable foundation right here in the market and it's a big yes from me. It's a matte foundation so it doesn't really suit for dry skin type. So mine is combination skin type so it often dries my skin up. But if I moisturize and prep my skin well then it works just fine. But if you are extremely dry skin then avoid using this foundation. Uh, if you can manage it it's okay but uh, for normal to oily skin it's a really good product. It's a really good foundation, I say. Uh, am I going to repurchase it? Of course, yes, I'm going to repurchase it regardless of the smell. Uh, it smells really bad. It smells just like chemicals. So that's the only thing that I don't like about this foundation. And if, except for that, everything is just fine. I really love this product and of course I'm going to repurchase it again. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about is this wet and wet lipstick. Um, it's in the shade Gimme Mocha. I really love this lip shade. It's a very lightweight lipstick and it sits very natural on my lips. And that's what I like the most about it. Am I going to repurchase it? Of course, yes I will. Um, in fact, I already got the second bottle of the lipstick and I think it speaks for itself. And what I don't like about this lipstick is it's kind of uh, sticky sometimes. Um, other than that, everything is just fine and I really love this lipstick. So yeah, that's about it. So these are the products that I wanted to talk about and that's it for this video today and if you like my video like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon next to subscribe button to never miss any of my videos. I'll see you all again next time until then take care. Bye.